Hello students, in this session we will try to understand about the chapter reproductive health. Okay, so we are discussing here what is the meaning of reproductive health? Okay, what are the different aspects associated with and one more thing what is the need of study of this particular chapter? Before going to the contents, what is there in this chapter and what is the need of why we have to study this chapter? Let us first see what does the reproductive health means according to WHO that is World Health Organization defines reproductive health as one mark very important question write down world health organization defines it as it is the total well-being in all aspects of reproduction that is physical physical emotional emotional behavioral and social i repeat once again reproductive health is the total well-being in all aspects of reproduction what are those all aspects they should be healthy they should be fine then only the person or a individual or a society is said to be reproductively healthy when a person is said to be reproductively healthy, when all aspects associated with the reproduction are healthy, what are those all aspects? It is very importantly physical aspect, emotional, behavioral as well as social. Then what do you mean by physical health when the organs and organ systems associated with the reproduction when they perform their function properly when they are structurally normal when they perform their function normally then the person is said to be what physically healthy say for example a male has a structurally normal testis but the sperm count is very low can I call that male as physically healthy or I can call him as reproductively healthy no a female every month during her menstrual cycle she is producing the ova but the ova is produced even though it is fertilized her uterus is unable to carry that baby can i call that female as reproductively healthy no so try to understand one do right uh, individual athava one do society anna now reproductively healthy anta karibeku andre all aspects associated with Adakke sambandha patiruva ella ugalu andre yavudara bage especially reproduction related aspects like these four then only you understood the meaning of physical health right likewise emotional behavioral as well as social health that is also very important especially related to the sex or other things the person's emotions behavior is very very important and even maintaining the social relationship in the society also matters when individual has all the four aspects in a good condition in a healthy state then only the individual is said to be what reproductively healthy so once again dear students i'm going to repeat the definition mark it as a one mark question the total well-being in all aspects of reproduction that is you have to write all those aspects that is physical emotional social behavioral and social in the neat exam what they can do they can just give you along with these four or instead of any of the one they may add instead of social they will add mental no they may add immunological no who considers when these things are proper then the person or the society is said to be reproductively healthy now the question raises why we need to study this why ncert had introduced this chapter very simple in the society nowadays we have seen many crimes associated with the site sex related crimes i can say like it could be a rape case the sex related crimes we will find some other problems associated with what health 
but what health a reproductive health like a couples suffering from infertility inability to give birth to a child that is the one more problem spreading of sexually transmitted diseases std anta nave enu helteve alva like aids agirabodu hepatitis b gonorrhea syphilis many examples are there that is also one of the issue of what reproductive health spreading of sexually transmitted diseases even the misuse of a medical procedure called abortion hope you heard about abortion and it is even observed that this abortion is misused especially to kill the female baby so the intention of studying this chapter is we will try to find some solution for all these problems associated with the reproductive health yava yava samasyegalu ondu society anna reproductive healthy anta karibeku andre iga nanu mention martiruva ee nalku problem galu irbardu anta helta iddare right crime like sex related crimes like rape cases spreading of sexually transmitted diseases killing the female baby right that is called abortion adana now solve maadbeku as well as couple suffering from infertility is also a not a good sign in the society so in this chapter in the next around 4 to 5 sessions what you are going to be with me we will try to find some solution for all these is that clear that's why the ncert has introduced the chapter reproductively sorry reproductive health it is a one mark question now for that reason india was among the first countries in the world okay which generates some action plans and programs to achieve the reproductive health india is the first country in the year 1951 government of india has introduced initiated an action plan and a program under the name family planning hope you might have heard about this organization family planning program was introduced by the government to achieve reproductive health whenever we hear the term family planning what thought that comes in our mind is okay family planning that means it just speaks about what size of the family okay alwa kelavu advertisement irana neevu kelta irabodu hum do hamare do naav ibbaru namage ibbaru we to ours to right small family right what do we say it is a good family to lead the life to lead the life it is very good such advertisements you will hear whether it is the only job deciding the size of the family is the only job of family planning no it is not just meant for that remember it is even trying to achieve or focus on other problems of the reproductive health also as the day passed it was doing its job but later in the year 1997 okay as it was observed that little changes are required few more changes required in the program family planning finally in 1997 government with some changes relaunched the program as rch what is rch reproductive reproductive and sorry and child health care okay it is a one mark question expand rch what is your answer reproductive health as well as it speaks about what child health dear students the mistake that you do in the exam is you will write reproductive and child health you will not add the word care you are going to lose the mark so family planning later with some modifications adralli kelavu badalavanegalanna tandu 1997 alli ide program anna navu ivattu enagi launch madidave rch program anta launch madidave what is its job its job is to achieve reproductive health as well as child health is very important in the society right these child only later grow and contribute more in the development of the society it contributes in in 
increasing the population many roles are played by which one the child so child health is also very important so the overall care is nowadays it is taken by what rch anyhow now the question is what are the strategies of this program how it is by using what plans yavudella threat plan galanna use maadi strategy galanna use maadi rch today trying to achieve a very good reproductive health in the society enella kelasa galanna adu maartta ide it is either a 3 mark or a 5 mark question i will just go through it okay if possible try to note down the point by pausing the video now the first thing is it creates awareness with the help of audio visual and print media by government and non governmental organizations point number 1 i repeat it is trying to create awareness with the help of audio visual audio visual andre yavudu like tv agirbodu bere other medias audio visual and print media that is the what is that newspaper with the help of government print media by government and non governmental organization gala help anna padidukondu it is trying to create awareness point number 2 sex education should be introduced in schools sex education should be introduced in schools to provide information about adolescence to provide information about adolescence a d o l e s c e n c e in bracket puberty comma reproductive organs comma stds comma safe sex practices etc i repeat point number 2 sex education should be introduced in school level only right when to educate the child first point says education when to educate about these things in the school level when it should not be too early it should not be too late alwa usually high school ige bandavaga adu kuda almost 9th class 10th class ige baruvaga sex education anna introduce martare yake andre yavudella gala bagge knowledge irbeku sex education should be introduced in schools to provide information about adolescence andre puberty prayadalli aguva badalavane gala bagge reproductive organs gala bagge idea irbeku stds alva sexually transmitted diseases safe sex practices etc by that it is trying to prevent the other problems associated with point number 3 write down educating people about available birth control options i repeat educating people about available birth control options comma care of pregnant mother postnatal care of mother and child importance of breastfeeding equal opportunities for male and female child i repeat this point number 3 again educating people about available birth control option okay population control agbeku unnecessary pregnancy beda anta adre people the couple should have idea about available birth control option because as to tablet galive device galu available ive yavudu adanna nav matte noduva adara bagge idea irbeku care of the pregnant mother very important right to throughout the 9 month postnatal care of mother and child what do you mean by postnatal after the delivery what do you mean by prenatal before the delivery a 9 month pregnancy enu ide prenatal period very important before delivery postnatal andre after child birth antartha postnatal care of child birth ada mele care of both mother and child is very important 
importance of breastfeeding i need not to tell you about this again already in my last chapter i told you right the milk the mother's breast milk is rich with iga antibodies their proteins are present right which is very important for the growth of the child a maguvinalli immune system ivattu neevu corona bagge ishtu maatadta idiri alva ee covid 19 anta helid takshana ellaru heluvantadu eradu vishaya ಯಾರು ತುಂಬ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ಆಗಿರಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಒಂದು ತುಂಬ ಪ್ರಾಯ ಆದವರು ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಎನಿ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ ಡಿಸಾರ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎನಿ ದೇರ್ ಒಂದು ಅವರು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಯಾರು ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಏಜ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ಟೆನ್ ಬಟ್ ಯೂಶ್ವಲಿ ಇನ್ ಅ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫೀಡಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ಲಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಇಯರ್ ಟೂ ಇಯರ್ ಟೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಎಮ್ ಐ ರೈಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಮಗುವಿನ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಏನು ಇದೆ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದರೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳಲ್ಲಿ ಇಮ್ಯೂನ್ ಪವರ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಲೆಸ್ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುವ ಹಾಗೆ ಇಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ಅವರಲ್ಲಿ ಬೆಳೆದಿರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಗ್ರೋಸ್ ಇಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಗ್ರೋವಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಇಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಮದರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಟಿಬಾಡಿ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಐ ಜಿ ಎ ಆ್ಯಂಟಿಬಾಡಿ ಥ್ರೂ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ದಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಟಿಬಾಡಿ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೇಬಿ ಗೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಎನಫ್ ಟು ಫೈಟ್ ಅಗೇನಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಡಿಸೀಸಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ದ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ಅವರಲ್ಲಿ ತುಂಬ ವೀಕ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಅದರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅವೇರ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಫಾರ್ ಮೇಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೀಮೇಲ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫೋರ್ the rip rch department i am speaking about it is trying to create awareness about uncontrolled population growth i repeat point number 4 it is trying to create awareness about uncontrolled population growth nimge gottundu population thumba jaasti aadre yavella samasyegalu ive anta heli comma sex abuse sex related crimes etc sex related crime gala bage kuda en maartta ide echarikeyanna kodta ide next point number 5 uh, to attain reproductive health providing medical assistance about i repeat to attain reproductive health comma provide medical assistance about reproduction related problems like pregnancy delivery std abortion contraception menstrual problems infertility etc this point says that okay if you just educate it is not enough the next point says to attain a very good reproductively healthy society we should provide the medical provide medical assistance about proper medical facilities very important janarana kevala neevu awareness create madidre aaglilla yavudakkella medical support beku medical assistance beku alva medical assistance about reproduction related problems like pregnancy to handle that delivery std abortion contraception menstrual problems infertility etc for that the government as well as the rch department trying to give some medical facilities next point last point ban on sex determining techniques like amniocentesis the last one very important ban on sex determining techniques like what amniocentesis in bracket take a note note write down the definition of amniocentesis it is the fetal sex determination technique it is the fetal sex determination technique or you can write test sex determination test based on based on the chromosomal pattern in the based on chromosomal pattern in the amniotic fluid amniotic fluid surrounding the developing embryo surrounding the developing embryo i repeat 
it is the fetal sex determination test based on what chromosomal pattern in the amniotic fluid surrounding the developing embryo that test is called amniocentesis in my last chapter i told you the human fetus is present in a fluid covered by a membrane called amnion do you remember chorion is the outermost membrane chorion aada mele salpa olagade sigva next membrane yavudu amnion amnion has a fluid called what amniotic fluid when we were in our mother's womb we were dipped in the amniotic fluid that amniotic fluid has the cells of the fetus as it is the fluid surrounding the baby right as it is the fluid imagine i am going with a rough sketch try to understand this is the umbilical cord imagine this is the embryo and this is what a membrane called amnion here is the fluid which fluid amniotic fluid is present now what happens the cells of the what baby or the fetus some cells will be sloughed off detached and those cells are present in the amniotic fluid what you doctor will do you will by right carefully inserting or injecting the needle you will collect some amount of amniotic fluid that amniotic fluid which is collected you know that it has few cells of this baby in those cells cells have chromosomes that is known fact those chromosomes are studied whether the baby is having any genetic disorders or what clear so to study to see the genetic disorders before the birth of the baby what you will do you will collect amniotic fluid we know that in the amniotic fluid whatever cells you find it is the cell of the baby you will enlarge okay it is the cell of the baby few cells that got detached now i will enlarge each cell you will observe that cell in the microscope you will check whether 46 chromosomes are there or not 23 pair are there or not if everything is correct then fine no issues say for example you were observing the cell what happened you come to know that in that cell first or one chromosome is missing that means you will understand that instead of 46 the baby has only 45 chromosome and what you will do you will tell that mother that to avoid after delivery problems right i you will advise her to undergo abortion if the baby is not required in madkolbodu avlu bekidre abortion maadi tegibodu illa nanage hagadru parwagilla irli andre fine usually adanna prevent maartare yake yake andre after delivery ada mele magu huttida mele adakke samasya aagbardu annuva onde ondu reason so the test was designed to identify genetic disorders before the birth of the baby but it was misused to check the sex of the baby especially to identify female sex and to kill the female baby that is the reason why in india amniocentesis is banned is that clear it is banned today under the influence of which one rch has banned this one as it is misused to kill the female sex or so female fetus very important point for the neat remember you can identify sex of the baby through this technique yes or no in general i am speaking it is not allowed but we can identify sex of the baby we can identify genetic disorders in the fetus but one neat question appeared they use a term they said that amniocentesis can be even used for identifying cleft palate neat question i will just write it is even used to identify what cleft palate have you heard about cleft lips seelu tutigalu alva seelu tuti iddage cleft lips what do you mean by cleft palate what is palate huh? a roof mouthina melgade roof idi alva that is called palate a palate enagide seel agide seelu palate right cleft palate cleft palate cleft lips are not the what genetic disorders they are 
they have been seen in the child because of some inborn errors a huttuvaga embryonic stage alli aguva samasyegalinda intaha problem galanna we cannot identify through which one amniocentesis technique okay and one more thing you can do this test only after 14 week it is usually done between 14 to 16 weeks of pregnancy take it as a note very important usually after third month one month four week three month 12 week that is the first trimester after first trimester especially 14 week onward we will carry out which one amniocentesis these are all the appeared concepts in the neat very important this is also banned educating the people everything are the strategies of rch to achieve a very good reproductive health in the society if you speak to the members who are working to achieve today a very good reproductively healthy society if you ask them what is the main reason behind all these problems associated with it they directly point out and say it is all because of increase in the population nothing but population explosion according to them is one of the main reason for everything ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆಗಳಿವೆ ಬಟ್ ಅವರು ಬ್ಲೇಮ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಯಾವುದಕ್ಕೆ ಮೇನ್ ಆಗಿ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಅಚೀವ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ರಿಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ದಿ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಟ್ ಸೈಂಟಿಫಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಡೆಮೋಗ್ರಫಿ ಟಿಕೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಅ ನೀಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡೆಮೋಗ್ರಫಿ ಸೈಂಟಿಫಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಡೆಮೋಗ್ರಫಿ now if you look at some census reports kelavu janaganathiya report anna noduvaga the world population before going to india let me see first the world population the world population during 1900 was it was 2 billion okay the world population was 2 billion it rocketed to yeah sorry 6 billion 6 billion by 2000 and in the 2011 the report says the world population is around 7.2 billion the world population during 1900 was 2 billion during 6 uh, 2000 the population rocketed to 6 billion by 2011 the world population was 7.2 billion you have to practice this then what about the population of india definitely india would have contributed a good right anyhow it is said that during independence in the mencat it is mentioned as during independence that is 1947 1950 not exactly 1900 during independence the indian population was 350 million okay during 2000 the india population rocketed to how much 1 billion and at 2011 the indian population was 1.2 billion it is very clear that simultaneously the india population also what happened increase especially if you observe the 2000 census report the world population was 6 billion and india population was right 1 billion that means every sixth person in the world is an indian it is in 6 is to 1 ratio right prati arane vyakti ee vishwadalli yaru iddare that man is what indian that is the clear indication this is how the indian population also expanded according to 2001 census report ncert it is said 2000 but the census was actually done in 2001 in india it is done every 10 year 2001 nalli aadavaga namge gottayitu 1 billion 
2011 ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡಿದವಾಗ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ 1.2 ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಟೂ ಬಿಲಿಯನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಯಾವಾಗ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಓಕೆ ಡನ್ ಎನಿಹೌ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ದ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ರೇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ರೇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡು ಯು ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ದ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟೀನ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಇಯರ್ ಪ್ರತಿ ವರ್ಷ ಪ್ರತಿ ಸಾವಿರ ಜನರಿಗೆ ಹದಿನೇಳು ಜನ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಆಗ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಒನ್ನಿನ ಸೆನ್ಸಸ್ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಉಂಟು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಟೂಲ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೇಟ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಇಯರ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಒನ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳಿದ ಒಂದು ಡೈಲಾಗ್ ಬೈ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ರೇಟ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಇಯರ್ ದ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಕುಡ್ ಡಬಲ್ there is possibility but when the census was done in 2011 okay we know that time india population was 1.2 billion we were thinking the growth rate would have come down but it is observed that it is almost 2% not decrease it increase which means 20 members are added for every 1000 people every year this is how the population of india is keep on what increasing very important if you want to achieve a very good reproductively healthy society the control of the population is very very important now let us see what are the reasons for increase in population what are the causes in increase in the population it is a three mark question you know from right seventh eighth class you are writing the answer for this the one reason behind increase in population is decrease in the death rate increase in the birth rate point number one decrease in the death rate increase in the birth rate point number two it is point number two decrease in mmr as well as imr also causing increase in the population dear students decrease in mmr what is mmr maternal mortality rate what do you mean by mortality death death of the mother earlier right because of the poor medical facilities mothers during pregnancy used to die but today the medicinal facility has advanced so well that death rate of the mother during pregnancy what happened decrease population increase earlier during delivery because of the some complications other problems there was more and more what infant mortality rate Children's used to die. Makkalu saitha idru modalu. Alva adu hootti da nantar agir bodu. Delivery a time ali agir bodu. But evathu well medical facility in the death rate of the children. Death rate of the mother. What happened? Decreased. That means population increase. Likewise, availability of point number three. Better medical facilities and life amenities. i repeat better medical facilities and life amenities jeevanakke bekagwa agatyategalu namage aramadalli sikta ide availability of well nutritious food is another reason for increase in the population okay desire for male child early marriages and other religious beliefs ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೇಲ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಗಂಡು ಮಗು ಹುಟ್ಟಲಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪ್ರೆಗ್ನೆಂಟ್ ಆಗುವಂಥದ್ದು ಹೆಣ್ಣು ಮಗು ಹುಟ್ಟಿದರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪ್ರೆಗ್ನೆಂಟ್ ಮತ್ತೊಂದು ಗಂಡ ಆಗಲಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ರೈಟ್ ಡಿಸೈರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೇಲ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾರೇಜಸ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಸಮ್ ರಿಲೀಜಿಯಸ್ ಬಿಲೀಫ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ರಿಸಲ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಡೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಕೆಲಮಿಟೀಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅರ್ತ್ ಕ್ವೇ
ಫ್ಲಡ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಬಂದಾವಾಗ ಈವನ್ ಮೊದಲು ನಾವು ಈಗಲೂ ಕೂಡ ನ್ಯೂಸಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತೇವೆ ಬೈ ಪ್ಲೇಗ್ ಮೊದಲು ಕೂಡ ಬಂದಿತ್ತಂತೆ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ವರ್ಷಗಳ ಹಿಂದೆ ಅದರಿಂದ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಜನ ಸತ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಟುಡೇ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕೊರೋನಾ ಬಟ್ ಎನಿ ಹೌ ಡೆತ್ ರೇಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಎನಿ ಹೌ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲಮಿಟೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಡೈ ಮೋರ್ ಬಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ಟುಡೇ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ರೀಸನ್ population will increase please go through the ncrt try to write the standard answer for such things yeah now the question how to control the population again a two or three mark question how to control population point number 1 by educating people about the advantage of small family family i repeat by educating people about the advantage of having small family like advertisements which i told you hum do hamare do right we to ours to now we baru namage baru ee ritiya advertisement galanna kottu number 2 raising the age of marriages you know it is for female what is the marriage age it is 18 for male it is 21 it is already raised raising the age of marriages by which population can be controlled number 3 use of contraceptives use of contraceptives during sex right when the couples when they involve in the coitus to avoid this pregnancy using the contraceptives what are contraceptives any devices that prevent pregnancy about it we will discuss in detail okay by use of what contraceptives what can be controlled the increasing population can be controlled so just try to understand in this we are discussing how to achieve reproductive health definition i told you one mark question what are the problems associated with in the with it in the next four to five lessons uh, we are trying to solve these problems associated with achieving a good reproductive health yav yav problem one problem gotagide tremendous increase in the population adara bagge naavu maatadbeku right how to control this population then spreading of sexually transmitted disease idara bagge ee class alli maatadtidene couples having infertility problem as a doctor how to help them infertility bagge maatartideve as well as we are discussing here misuse of abortion avoiding the misuse of abortion to kill the female baby thereby imbalance in the male and female sex ratio that we will try to avoid okay by studying which one reproductive health chapter